Hey guys, so today I decided to do famous icons, aka my famous icons that I look up to. I decided to do um, more of the olden days <laughs> people. Um, they're not old, old. Um, obviously, I few few are dead. One is still alive. Um, so I decided to split this segment up to um, old actresses that I that I find are inspirational to me. I will also do um, people who are inspirational to me, like Martin Luther King, those kind of people. And I will also be doing characters later on that are inspirational to me. So I just picked three people that are very inspirational to me. Obviously I have more, but I thought these three were very... Um, they meant more to me right now. Obviously for other people... Um, these people might not seem inspirational to you or when I talk about them they might not seem as important to you. You might feel like oh they didn't do much but for me um, they did a lot and I have reasons why I like them and everything so I just picked three. Uh, they're not in order but let's get started. So the first person I picked was Judy Garland. Um, I don't know if a lot of people know who she is. Um, I hope so. She was in The Wizard of Oz. She played Dorothy, one of my favorite classical movies. Um, also, The Harvey Girls and Judgment at Nuremberg. Um, Judy Garland, I love her voice. She has an amazing voice. Um, what really stood out to me about her is why I also really like her is she did have a troubled past. Um, obviously my troubled past is different from her troubled past. She was really pushed into the, the star world, um, adolescence, like stardom kind of stuff. And she also had mental health issues and physical problems. Um, I feel like I relate to her in a sense because of the mental health, um, issues and stuff and things she did, like she turned to alcohol, uh, alcoholism and drugs and stuff. And I obviously a lot of people have their fair share of that. And I did have my fair share of that too. Um, but she also had, like, uh, physical health as well. Um, what really stood out to me about her is a lot of people when she was going, trying to get cast into movies, they did not think that she had the most attractive body. And I think, to be honest, that she was gorgeous. But a lot of people didn't think so, and she suffered from that. They thought she was unattractive, her body wasn't good, her face, physical everything. And also that led her even more to a drug, um, drugs uh, substance of drugs and alcoholism but on the bright side she did win many awards and uh she also which i thought was really cool is she actually was honored as a u.s postage stamp and i thought that was really cool i'm actually trying to look for the postage stamp with her face on it i haven't been able to find it um for people they're like how is she an icon like uh she overdosed on drugs when she died um it's more about that she had a lot of family issues. She mental health and physical. Um, she had physical health problems, and to be honest, like I suffer from a lot of that stuff. I had a lot of family issues, mental health, and physical problems. And just to see her win all these awards and do all these great things, and she did have that, um, really shows me that I can do more things. However, yes, she did overdose. Um, it just shows me how how short life can be. And do you really want to, like, make it that short? Like, she died at a young age. And it just tries to... I try to push through that because it's like... I don't want to miss out on all this stuff. Like, even when I'm at my worst and my deepest moments, I just, like... In my eyes, I don't want that to happen. I really see that I could succeed in more. So that is why she also sticks up for me. Another person I did want to talk... I had a few notes, just in case. Um, Doris Day. Um, Doris Day. I love Doris Day. I love her voice. I love her movies, um, uh, Please Don't Eat the Daisies, The Glass Bottom Boat, um, Move Over Darling. Um, I think she's amazing. Um, the fact that I love animals, obviously I have two cats, I'm trying to get another one and a dog, and I've had hamsters and fishes and just the whole nine yards. And the fact that she had a Doris Day Pet Foundation, a Doris Day an like, Animal Foundation, she had an Animal League which and it kind of went into the Humane Society stuff. Um, and she also lobbied the U.S. Uh, Congress to support animal welfare. She rescued and fostered uh, many animals, and she also got a Medal of Freedom from George W. Bush. Um, those are a few notes that I found that were really inspirational and I think about all the time, and I thought it'd be nice to share with you guys. But she's just a very strong, independent woman, and... Although, like, she's still alive now, but it's the fact that she looked past her own stuff 
and her own fame and everything and she put it into something um into something more animals um we know that animals are endangered animals get treated like rough and disgusting by people and the fact that she sat there and supported it and she even not even that she even fostered and helped other people get animals and she tried to show that animals yes they're not human but they have feelings they have souls they they want what everybody wants they want a happy and long life and being loved and it was the fact that she could show that to people was really nice um obviously her movies and her voice was amazing of course but my biggest biggest icon which i feel like a lot of people also believe in her is audrey hepburn like who doesn't love audrey hepburn fashionista um she stood strong she helped so many people she's gorgeous her voice her acting like Audrey Hepburn for me is a legacy I would strive to be Audrey Hepburn if I could um I think about her all the time when I think of things or when I go shopping even though my style is kind of out there I always think of what would Audrey Hepburn do what would Audrey Hepburn say and how would she like to help people I love helping people and she really pushed me to do that to look aside from my problems to not think about me and give myself pity but to also help other people because helping other people also makes you feel like the most amazing person in the world like deep down you feel good about yourself because you help somebody else um movies um i'm only gonna name three of her movies but i love a bunch of her movies one of my favorites breakfast at tiffany's the roman holiday sabrina like she has a ton of them but those are my movies that i can watch daily especially breakfast at tiffany's i fall asleep to that sometimes um i just think a few points that i thought were really interesting about her and when i found out about them I was uh, very happy um, and just surprised by some of them. The biggest thing I was surprised about is, yes, uh, she worked with UNICEF. Uh, I don't know if a lot of people know that. She did work with UNICEF. Um, she she was the good, um, goodwill ambassador of UNICEF. Uh, she got people to send food to uh, Ethiopia. She helped in Vietnam. Uh, she helped in South Sudan. Sudan. Um, like, amazing. Like, she helped in the orphanage. She... She got people to really acknowledge what was going on in the world, like, uh, what was going on in the world instead of what was going on with their place. Like, looking aside from what they have and what they're doing, like, look beyond that and look at the people who actually really need help and what was going on in the natural disasters, the orphanages, like, disease and everything. And she took the time and she not... The biggest thing was that she actually went there and she witnessed it herself. It was not something like oh I know they're doing bad but she witnessed it and she felt the pain that they were feeling and she just wanted to help and do as much as she can and for me that was the biggest thing um like that she took time she just cancelled everything and did that and she also won a medal of freedom from George W Bush like that's crazy um and the biggest thing that I really like I didn't know this actually and even though like I love her she has um a statue in the UNICEF in New York City and I was like what like now I gotta go and see the statue like I thought that was amazing I didn't even know uh she had a statue till recently actually that I found out and now like I really want to go and see it uh, she was named the third among the greatest female stars obviously she received many awards um and she also narrated two programs radio programs for unicef and retelling children's stories of war she was really really into that as well because she was also seeing people who were suffering from war and she was trying to spread their story and their survival and everything um obviously fashion icon um i love it i said it before but i find that audrey hepburn i feel like she stood more she stood for so much more not just she was a gorgeous looking woman not just for fashion she stood for people she stood for people who didn't have voices she tried to help people who were in need and weren't able to get help she tried to show people that there is more important things in life than money fame like fortune and everything and not many people do that and yeah i think i feel like actors and actresses are doing it now but to be honest, not to be critical or anything, I feel like some are just doing it for more attention. Like, I know Leonardo DiCaprio is, I forgot what he's doing. I know he's in, um, I don't know if it's UNICEF or something, but you can tell he's really into it. The way he talks, the way he works, like, everything I th see about him is about that. But some people I see, um, uh, actors and actresses, they talk about, oh, donate to this. But I don't actually see them or really hear them doing actual work inside of there. Like, Leonardo DiCaprio, I do hear a lot about him doing it. There's a lot of research and proof that he actually is really into this. And he's not taking anything for advantage for himself. And I find that amazing. 
and just like Audrey Hepburn she did that Doris Day did that um these are amazing actress and actresses um just actresses <laughs> but they stood for so much more and the fact that like not everybody's like that back then and I feel like a lot of people have forgotten that these old-time actresses stood for so much more they were women they were strong independent women and I feel like people nowadays can learn from that and I feel like just learning about like hearing about Julie Garland that she had people thought that she was ugly and they she was unatt unattractive she was gorgeous but it's how men have just like demolished and really put down women's like figure and like why like sh she stood like even though they said that she didn't care she put like yes yeah, she ha did drugs and alcoholism but in certain movies she said she didn't take that f no for an answer she did amazing movies she could sing she could do all of that and she didn't give a crap that people looked at her like that and i find that's amazing so I know it's a short video, I want to talk about this longer, but I didn't want to, I do want to do a blog post about this, so that's why that's going to be my main focus. But if you want to hear more about these three amazing ladies, let me know and I will do a blog post or I'll do an independent video about them. But I hope you guys look these three amazing ladies up and I hope they can be just as inspirational to you as they are for me. And maybe try to take in their thoughts, their ideas, what they stood for and maybe kind of apply that to your daily life and see what you can change and make yourself a better person. But have a great day, have a great night, love you guys, see you soon, and love all my icons, bye!